Hi there and welcome to our video on a plugin called Shareaholic and this plugin is a social sharing plugin that allows you when you've got posts on your website for people to actually share those which obviously is important because people can then share the love and get people back to your site. When I show you one at the moment this is the demo hello world post you'll see here there's a comment it's a demo post but there's no option to share content with the world and tell people that you love the post if you were a visitor. So we're using a plugin that's called Shareaholic and we just go to plugins and add new. We type in Shareaholic and search plugins and we want Shareaholic share buttons and related posts and we install it now. We choose OK. Activate the plugin and now we're ready to come down to see the settings. So Shareaholic gives you essential tools you need to become a successful publisher. Share buttons, related content, keeps people coming back and analytics gives you the insights you need to grow your site. So choose get started. And here we have the share buttons. We can choose to have them above content or below content on posts and pages and also in index. On the category pages we can have it as well. We can choose it to be on or off. And where you've got the customize option here you can choose the theme, how it's laid out, you can choose your design, it's entirely up to you. You can have a little headline that shows above, as you can see here. You can choose the layout style, you can choose the size, you can choose counters if you want to. And you can also choose the alignment on the post. The services that you can include are down here or you can remove them. So we can take off any of these if we want to. You could add LinkedIn. You can add whichever one you want. And when you're ready, you choose save settings. If we customize on the page, you'll see again, we haven't got LinkedIn here. So we might choose to add LinkedIn. You might want to change the look and feel. We're going to turn off the counter. When we're happy, we go ahead and we save the settings. Related content, you can choose to put it on post, pages, index, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to switch mine off for now and I'm going to leave off on the categories and I'm going to choose save settings. The reason why I've done that moment is because there isn't any related content because we've only got the demo posts that come pre-installed with WordPress. But later on I might choose to come back and change these. So to see how this looks, we can take a look on our website. And here we go, now it's been installed and we've activated it. We've got a message that say that they can choose to email it to somebody, go on LinkedIn, Pinterest, more options are here. So they can actually choose a service they want to post to. If you've not included it, it's entirely up to you. Or if they click, so for example, if they click Twitter, it's gonna ask them to connect with Twitter or Facebook and they'll go ahead and then post a link back to this particular post on your site. So it's great for social sharing and letting others share the love about the wonderful content you're adding to your websites. Thanks for watching.